There are several different arguments that can be made in a DUI case, both for the prosecutor and for the defendant. The defendant will often try and argue that his blood level was actually rising at the time of arrest as far as the alcohol content goes. If that's the case, he was not legally drunk and therefore he can't be hit with a driving while intoxicated charge. The defendant could argue that when he blew into the test, he already was not driving, he was being tested, and if it was a .08 or right on the borderline, oftentimes a drunk driving defendant can succeed in arguing that his alcohol blood level was actually rising at the time of the test or had risen to a level that was not legally drunk when he was pulled over. The prosecutor, on the other hand, will argue lowering blood, that actually, if you were tested at a .07, you probably were really a .08, but the blood alcohol was slowly leaving your body. So th there are two different types of arguments that are often made in these types of cases. Either way, it's often a crapshoot when going up with a jury and deciding the case. So that's why it's so important to get an attorney to explain your options. An experienced DUI attorney is absolutely um, important in a case of a DUI. You can't go it alone. You might end up spending time in jail uh, or have a higher likelihood of spending time in jail if you don't get a good criminal defense attorney who knows what he or she is doing.